just explain a little bit about the PE health check that you've introduced? Uh, yeah, so a bit like the Create an Active Schools framework, uh, we've been doing the PE health check for the last probably year now. We do it twice a year, uh, it'd be myself, uh, the PE coordinator, sometimes the PE coach and the head teacher. Uh, and we look at the PE policy, checking there's up to date, there's no national uh, guidance we need to include in it. Uh, the risk assessments, checking they're up to date uh, and they're covering all of the new sports we're introducing. Looking at the after school clubs, checking what children think. If after school clubs aren't full, then why aren't they? Do we need to change the sports? Looking at competitions, so it isn't just the standard ones you go to. Have a look if we can go to a table tennis competition or do some enrichment festivals like fencing so the children are gaining an experience in different sports. Uh, looking at staff confidence, if they say, okay, gymnastics is a big area like they have here, uh, in a couple of weeks they're having a gymnastics staff meeting after school. Um, having a look at the swimming data, seeing if we need to do boosters, and also having a look what other organisations are out there. So like bikeability now, every child in the school uh, takes part. Just seeing, having a look what opportunities there are, and if we're not doing it, can we do it? any particular impact of that higher quality PE provision on your pupils? The behaviour in sessions are better because every child is engaged. Mm. Then teachers are more confident in using the equipment so the pupils are seeing the new equipment that they've probably not used before and then they, everyone wants to be involved. <laughs> Teachers now know that they need to teach the lessons, it's not down to the TA. They've got the confidence now, they've got the knowledge and they can deliver a PE session.